why didn't you charge? Jesus Murphy. Hey guys, it's Adam here. And, uh, fucking camera didn't charge. Had her plugged in all night. Son of a bitch. All else fails, pop a fresher battery in. Anyway, it's, um, currently 5.30 and, uh, it's freaking warm outside. It's like three degrees out right now. So I got some vape mail today. I got this new tank here. It's called the Cubist by Joytech and check this shit out. Never seen a tank do that. You pull the trigger, starts fucking blasting vape out of it. It's nuts. And it's a weird tank. I'll show more of that later on. Right now, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to head outside. Holy shit. Did I blow up my LED light or did I just turn it off? I'll just turn it off. Okay. We're going to head out. We're going to uh, go clear the end of the driveway because when it gets warm like this, what ends up happening is the snow plow will come by and he'll drag the blade. Like, he'll push the blade into the pavement and... Freaking cat. He got all your shit on my coat. Anyway, he'll uh, drag the blade into the pavement and scrape all the friggin' ice and slop and shit off the roads. And that's all sitting at the end of my driveway right now. So, we're gonna grab some gloves and we're gonna head out there and see about getting that cleared. Uh, I'm gonna shovel it, I'm not gonna blow it because it's gonna be just too heavy for the blower and it won't really toss it at all. It'll just end up fucking bunging shit up and breaking shit. So,. Rather than break shit, let's just go out there and shovel it. Yeah, it's all crusty snow. But do you see what I mean? He uh, drags the blade and puts all this shit. So, we'll grab a shovel. We'll scrape that all up. Chuck her into the banks. Be done with it. Don't know what else I'm going to do today, but I uh, also haven't received a phone call from the insurance company, so that's kind of upsetting really want to know how much it's going to cost me to wrap my motorbike. Well, a rough guesstimate anyway. Because I really want to ride my motorbike. <sighs> I just did that in like five minutes. I am so out of shape. It's unbelievable. Actually, no, it's pretty believable. Who am I kidding? Holy fuck. The other driveway is all clear. Threw it all up there. Forget. Holy shit. I gotta get more fucking exercise, I think. That winded me way too much. Anyway. I'm gonna go back in the house. The dog's freaking out because he's mad that I'm out here and he's not out here. So, let's go back in. So I found out why the other night when I was streaming Minecraft, everything was all glitchy as fuck. Turns out, the R9 380 video card has a known issue with OBS and, uh, what's that other fucking streamer program that allows, XSplit. Uh, just the R9 380. The 390 apparently doesn't have the issue, just the 380. Turns out the issue is related to games that run in OpenGL. They don't stream right. However, with the Action Software, fucking works perfect. So, OBS, XSplit. Get your fucking shit together, because there's another guy in town, and he works. So, smarten the fuck up. Especially you, uh, XSplit. You guys charge like 50 bucks for a year subscription. Fix your fucking shit if you want to charge money for that shit. So here's that Cubist tank, and you're looking at it going, wow, that's a weird style. Where's the airflow? The airflow is actually underneath that ring. Sorry, I had it in my pocket. My pocket's filled with dust and dirt and stuff, and it kind of accumulated on the tank. But your airflow control is done by twisting this thing. So that's wide open. That's all the way closed. And to fill it, you literally take off this top part. Let me show you this. This is pretty cool. I've already unscrewed it. So you just take off this top part. And look at that, you're living with a cup of juice. The coil screws onto the chimney, the base makes contact with the bottom, and that's how it gets its friggin' shit. That's awesome. Also, it's one of the only tanks I've ever seen do this. Never, ever, ever had a, had a tank do that before, where you press the button and it just starts spraying juice. That's nuts. And I'm only giving her 30 watts. I don't know if you can see that. 30 watts. And... She makes a pretty good cloud at 0 0.5 ohms. This tank's fucking awesome, and it won't leak. I haven't had a leak yet, so mainly because the airflow is on top. It's just such an odd design for a tank, and it just dominates. It also came with uh, two extra coils here. One of these is a 1.5, 
the other one is a 1 ohm coil. The 0.5 that's in there now, apparently it's a parallel 26 gauge. The 1 ohm is a single 26 gauge. And the 1.5 ohm is a uh, 26, no, I think it's 28 gauge or 32 gauge Canthal Clapton. It's a Clapton coil. I'm not sure which one's the Clapton or not. Uh, you got to basically look through here and it'll say on this thing, so, there it is. So you are the regular coil and this one here is the Clapton. And what's awesome is they're made out of stainless steel. So you can put it in temperature control mode or run them in watts mode. I'm running mine in watts mode right now because the smoke doesn't, or the smock, whatever it's called, doesn't do temperature control to save its own tits. And yeah, it's actually friggin' awesome. I'm impressed with this little tank. 30 watts, all I need. I also bought one of these guys. Uh, it's a rebuildable coil for the, um, the Milo, but it says it should fit the Atlantis, so let's see. And why, well, yes, people, it fits it nicely. Look at that coil. Noise, noise. I'm gonna take it out, juice it, and we'll give her a hit. Well, that ain't gonna work. Main reason being, the old coils had threads on the top. This one doesn't. Fuck! Ah well, I know that coil fits in the uh, the Stair, Max, uh, Stair Free Max Pro, so it's not a complete waste. I can use it, I just can't use it in uh, the Atlantis, which I'm probably going to end up retiring because I can't find fucking coils for it. Apparently you can use the Aspire Triton coils in it. Problem is, is you got to break off the air ring, otherwise it'll overheat really fast and burn hit like a bitch because not enough airflow. One problem with vaping, the technology keeps advancing, so if you don't keep up, you end up fucking not being able to use your shit. That's why a lot of people go to rebuildables, because... There'll always be canthal, there'll always be cotton, so you can always build, rebuild your shit. Well, today has been another slow day, but slow days mean I don't spend much money, and that's a good time. Uh, did I already tell you guys why the... Uh, I probably already did. I told you why the uh, video card on my computer sucks. Why the Minecraft server was all glitchy. I don't know if I told you, but if I didn't, well, I'll tell you tomorrow. But anyway, I uh, threw some tilapia in a bowl to uh, thaw it out. And she's pretty much there, so nice. Love this quick method of uh, thawing out fish when it's vacuum sealed. And then we'll just dump the water out. And we're gonna air fry the living shit out of this fish. We're gonna do what we did yesterday. We're gonna wrap it in tin foil and go from there. So let's get her done. And I just realized I sat my camera down in a puddle of water. Fucking brilliant. The big cutlets of tilapia here. Um, not sure it should fit in the air fryer, no problem. I'm going to go ahead, actually I'm probably going to lay them down, I don't know, I'm going to lay them down. I haven't thought this far ahead. I want to do two because they tend to shrivel up when they cook. And I really like fish and I want to get rid of the shit because it's getting kind of old. So uh, we're going to lay it down like that. And then I'm going to season it. And we're going to add some shit to it. Then we're going to chuck it in the air fryer for 13 minutes. And I'm going to make some rice and veg again. Alrighty, so there we go. It's all seasoned and ready to rock. So I'm going to drop it in the air fryer. Before I do that, I want to get my rice ready. Always wash your vegetables. You don't know where they've been. So always wash them good. Alrighty, we got a little salad going on on top. Rice in the bottom. Kick that over. We'll set this to 180. Kick that over for 13 minutes. Let her do her thing. And dinner will be ready. I fucking love cooking these unsupervised dinners. It's perfect. Now I heard a weird noise in here. I heard the sound of a door getting banged on or something. Oreo was, was enough of a noise to make Oreo wake up. And for some reason, this door has been opening itself, so it's locked, so it shouldn't be opening. I don't understand. I don't understand. But, uh,. Yeah, I was thinking in a couple of YouTube checks about actually getting a new video card for the uh, CyberPower PC. Getting that fucking AMD card out of there. And putting it in uh, putting it in the XPS 9000. And then I could have 4K display on that TV. And then putting the, uh, I'll see you thinking the 960 or the 970 uh, GTX by NVIDIA. Because those cards, well, they work out of the box. They don't need finicking. They don't need fucking with the drivers. Like honestly, people who don't believe me that I didn't buy that computer. If I honestly did buy that computer, I would have made sure it had an NVIDIA card in it, not a fucking AMD card. 
AMD is the budget shit you buy when you can't afford to buy good shit. And it's the budget shit you buy when you want to dick with it all the time. But no, it's really fucked. 88 Music Rocks brought this to my attention. AMD's budget computer, or budget processor, the Athlon series, the 860K, it's actually more powerful than the FX8320. How fucked is that? Alrighty, well, soup's gotta be ready because by soup I mean the food. Uh, I heard beeping and shit, so that's a good sign. Well, let's get this shit plated. Or let's show you the fish first. Look at that tilapia. That is fucking gorgeous. And there's my dinner for tonight. We got some rice, we got some veg, got some tilapia. This should be fucking legendary. Let's go eat. Holy shit. Well, we started playing some PlayStation 4 online and that didn't fucking work out. Streams kept crashing, so we said frigate. And then uh, I had a tank explode on my chest, so that's awesome. Uh, I forgot to close the, the valve on one of my tanks and it happens every once in a while because I'm not paying attention. I'm like that. Leaked all over me, frig sakes. Then we just kind of sat around and talked for a bit because everybody's thinking about getting gaming computers to watch Judge and Dark Knight, so that's awesome. So it'd be kind of awesome if the whole crew moved over to PC because I know Adrian's already, he's, I don't know, he doesn't play PS4 with us anymore, but in a way, I don't blame him. Like, it sucks playing PS4. <laughs> like, I like playing PS4. Don't get me wrong. I like playing console games with my friends and stuff like that. I just really fucking hate the controls. I hate that stupid little joystick. Keyboard and mouse is so much more accurate. I've always been that way with gaming. Come on, dude. You know, I've always liked PC controls over consoles. Mind you, I grew up in the day of the Nintendo. But my first gaming console wasn't really a gaming console. It was actually... This computer right here. The Tandy fucking Coco 2. This is my first gaming rig. Sure, the games are weak ass and like fucking 4-bit and shit. And you know, you had to use your imagination because 90% of the time, your character was represented by like a red block. But it was fun, you know? And then moved to Nintendo, 8-bit era. Oh, so pretty. Look at all the graphics, so pretty, you know? And then moved on to Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis, 16-bit. And then got myself a gaming computer, a 486DX2. Started playing Doom, started playing Heretic, started playing Command and & Conquer, and Red Alert 2 was one of the ones that we used to play, and Warcraft 2, and... All these other awesome games, mouse and keyboard, you know, just kicking arse in that. And then I got a Pentium 133. Turn the ties again. Now I'm playing bigger games, better games, Quake, you know, Unreal Tournament. Moved on to a AMD K7 750, the AMD Athlon series. From there I moved on to an AMD, F, uh, AMD what the fuck was it? AMD 2500, which was... A 1.8 gigahertz processor, but functioned just as good as a Pentium 2500, 2.5 gigahertz, whatever. It's fucking AMD's numbering. And then from there, I moved on. What the fuck did I move on to from there? Oh, I moved into this house with those computers. That's right. And I was rocking them here for a bit, playing Ultima, or playing World of Warcraft and that on there. And I wanted more, so I bought the FX60, the AMD FX60. Uh, dual core. That was my first ever dual core. And then I went from that to the... XPS 9000, and then the 8300, and now that's cyber fucking pain in the ass. So, yeah, once, I, once you go PC, you never want a console again, but I don't mind playing consoles with my friends. If, you know, obviously gaming computers aren't cheap. You really can't get one for cheap and play all the games awesomely. And you kind of want to play on my max graphics, because that's what makes a PC game shine, right? So, to each their own, I'm a big fan of PC gaming. A lot of people prefer consoles. I know parents prefer consoles for their kids because, let's face it, they're cheap. They play games. Where a computer, you can, you can get yourself in trouble with a computer. You fuck something up, you know you gotta call a guy like me to go in there and fix it. That costs money. Console, you fuck it up, you turn it off, turn it back on again. Chances are you resolved your problem. Sometimes that, lo <laughs> that logic works with a PC too. But not all the time. Not all the time. Sometimes it's something you fucked up in the configuration file, and you gotta figure out what you did, you gotta fix it, but, you know, PC gaming's come a long way from back in the day. Like, a lot of you old-timers on the channel, you know, people my age or older who played PC games back in the day, you probably remember making the boot disc, eh? Oh, I gotta play Doom. Oh, where's my Doom boot disc? You put the Doom boot disc in, and it loads up the computer a specific way, so you have that memory available so you can load in the Doom. Or, you know, oh, I wanna overclock my computer. Well, you don't go into no BIOS or nothing. Fuck that. You go on the motherboard, and you move the little dip switch, or the dip switch, the little jumper, from one frequency to another, and then you just add more cooling to your processor, and hope the fuck you don't grenade. Lovely 
jubbly, right? But um, that's why I say, like, gaming now on computers, the operating systems make it so easy, and Steam makes it even easier. It's, it's not really that much of a heartache. And if you fuck something up, you just uninstall it reinstall it and you're good to go. Problem solved. But anyway, I'm talking a bunch of gibberish now. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to shut this down, get this all edited up, and get it up on YouTubes and go from there. So on that note, people, thanks for sticking with me today. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the show. Hopefully you enjoyed my video. If you did, click the like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, people, keep on blogging.